Hey guys, what's going on? I wanted to show you how to shop at a comment sold boutique app or in a boutique that has an app that uses comments sold because I noticed that when I'm shopping, there's a lot of people with questions. So if you have the app store or if you have Google Play, you're going to go to the search bar and you're going to search whatever boutique you want to shop at. So one of my favorites is Walker Rose Boutique. So I'm going to search it and then I'm going to find the app here. Now, I already have this app, so it's going to say open. But yours, if you don't have it, is going to say get. So you're going to click that. You're going to download the app and then you're going to set up account. It's just like your name, email and password. Or you can use Facebook, your Facebook information um, to set it up. Once you have that done, super simple, you're going to go and you're going to find the app. So you're going to open it up and it's going to look something like this, okay? At the top here is your search bar. Now you can type in whatever you want to search whatever you're shopping for, like maybe I'm looking for something that sparkles, okay? It's going to bring up everything listed on in the category of like sparkle but and you can click on it check it out like look at these shoes dang okay you can close out get rid of the sparkle search whatever you like there's also a filter button so you can filter when you're searching and then there's this other bar here where you can look at different categories that the shop has okay like shoes if I click on shoes it's going to bring up all the different shoes that this boutique is selling okay then I can keep scrolling I can click graphic tees it's going to bring up all the different graphic tees that this boutique is selling. Now, if you notice, some of these have yellow stars on them. That is because I've favorited the items. I like them. Um, maybe I want to, you know, purchase them at another time. Okay. With that being said, when I favorite an item down at the bottom, there's a star that says favorites. So I'm going to click on that. And every time I favorite something, it's going to be listed here. So I can come back and I can shop things that I like. I can also, I want you to keep in mind, the button next to it is a heart that says wait list. If something isn't available or they don't have it, it's sold out, you can put it in your wait list and get notified when the shop gets it back in again. Okay, so we're going to go back to shop. We're going to scroll all the way back here on the bar and we're going to click my feed to go back to the beginning. All right. Now on top is where you can see all the live shops from this boutique. You can re watch them all. You can shop them all. OK, now this boutique happens to be live right now. And the reason why I know that is because the picture's moving. It says live in red and down below it says we are live tap to join us so let's go ahead and do that now medium 10 12, this 14, is live 14, shopping 16, okay okay so if like you want to see what she's been selling up, and talking all about it's all you have to do is Maybe click shop lightweight flannels we have and Light you can simply and scroll and, and see and everything Ashlyn, that I'm she so has showed okay now let's say i was like Oh, let me check out this top, okay? So I can yes. click on it, I'm I can scroll, yes. read the specifics, so and I can even look at it on their model. Cents, and I can just go back and, you know, continue watching or continue scrolling to see what she's shown. Now, let's say I'm like, oh, I like this pink purse, okay? But oh, it says add to waitlist or add to favorites. Now I can do either or. If I add it to my waitlist, you know, I'll get notified when they get more. If I add it to favorites, maybe I just want to shop it, you know, another time. Something of the sort. You can also, if I were to add to waitlist, it'll give you the option to pre-authorize. Now that means you're going to put your credit card in. Put your shipping information in, and when the boutique gets the item, they're going to charge you and ship it out to you. 
if you do the pre-authorization. If you just add it to your wait list, they're not going to do that, okay? So let's go back. I just think you can see here it says it items in cart expire in two minutes. So I had added something to my cart to show you guys. And you want to keep that in mind when you're shopping at boutiques because they usually have cart timers. So I added something to my cart. I have 15 minutes to check out with that item. If I don't, it drops up from my cart and somebody else can add it. Um, you usually don't want to add and drop and add and drop things from boutiques um it's just you know a courtesy thing okay this i'm just showing you guys so hopefully i don't get in trouble <laughs> but anyways if i click on shop you can see there's a little cart where i can check out and complete my purchase but i'm gonna close out of this live sale and i'm gonna show you guys some more so let's close out you can go back you can shop the other lives some other things I want to show you guys are the account. Now, if you click on order history, it'll show you all your orders and it'll give you tracking as well. Even though most apps or most boutiques, I should say, email you the tracking number as well. And then you also want to have your notifications on if you really like that boutique because you'll get updates from them, you'll get sales, all the good stuff, okay? So let's go back to shop the beginning, the like main screen here. If you're all ready to check out, what you want to do is you want to find the little cart, okay? So we're going to click the cart. Now, I have pickup here because that's just their location. But if you're shipping it, you're going to edit up here and you're going to click shipping, fill out your information. At the top, you want to make sure you're paying with your correct method. You can see the subtotal. Now, I don't have any shipping, but usually shipping is $7.95. If you pay for shipping within, tw if you pay for shipping, you have a 24 hour window where you don't have to pay again with this boutique. Not all boutiques are the same, okay? Now, if you had a coupon code, which you could have, if you're new, first time user, type in app 20 and click apply and it'll apply to your account. Now, I'm not a new user, so it won't work. So I'm just gonna go back. I also, you can see, I have some store credit from other shopping that I did previously. Right now, the store credit is not being applied to my purchase. However, if I clicked tap to apply, it would apply the credit to my purchase. And if you can see, it's negative 916 because it took that store credit and applied it to the purchase if I was going to make one. Or you can also click, if you don't want to use it, oop, the card is empty. Okay. Um, my timer went off. Just click that um, store credit and it'll go off. Okay. So we're going to exit out of here. And again, it's really, really simple. I love this boutique. I would highly recommend them. They have a ton of things and they're always doing deals, which is great. So if you've never shopped here, with this boutique, you can use APP20 and get 20% off your purchase. That's just with this boutique. Um, but I basically just wanted to show you how to use one of the boutique apps that uses Comments Sold. It's super simple and really like easy to use. Highly recommend. So you guys can get shopping, get trying new things out. I've been shopping at boutiques lately just because I, I've wanted to try new things and I love it. Um, so if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you. Let me know what boutiques you've shopped at. I love, love hearing, um, where you guys shop at and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.